Nice, yeah. man. And you made it all the way to Lubbock. No. Come on. I don't think I'd give him advice. I'd just say congratulations. <laughs> I think it's a great place just to raise a family. Hire professional movers. Don't try to do it yourself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I know I look like a character from Baywatch running through the beach with the wind blowing in my hair, but we're at the range. We're at various locations interviewing Lubbockites about what they hate and what they love about Lubbock. Let's get rolling. So, Mitchell, just met this guy. Never met him before. How long have you lived in Lubbock? About three years. Uh, almost 10 years. Almost 10 years. Okay. Let me ask you this. What do you hate about Lubbock? Dirt in close proximity. There's no rhyme or reason to why they price it differently from one neighborhood to the next. You know, in other uh, markets, there's tangible reasons why, you know, certain properties are more valuable. Uh, here, I think it's uh, a little bit manufactured. No Trader Joe's. No Trader Joe's. <laughs> That's a fair. Good uh, there's not a lot I don't like about Lubbock. We we moved here in 2020 from Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. There's a lot of comparable things. I'm a musician by trade. Awesome. So there's not quite as much on the instrumental side. Yeah. Uh, specifically jazz. So if that was my nitpick, that's what I would say, right? Gotcha. But there's I, I actually do like Lubbock. The wind. The wind common answer we're seeing from everybody the wind which brings dust dust everybody oh, yeah. hates it nobody oh. likes it unless you're a psychopath or something <laughs> well right now there's a lot of construction going on it's not too bad the traffic but you know they're just uh, a lot is happening because so much is growing and building yeah, yeah. yeah so that's kind of annoying i don't really hate it i don't really hate it but sometimes the traffic i don't like hate it but it's really flat i kind of miss the mountains yeah that's understandable. Yeah, the geography is not that pretty, probably. Yeah, but you, you can see for a long way. There you go. There you go. <laughs> if there's one thing you could change about Lubbock, what would it be? I really don't know. I mean, I really like it here. Probably the wind. Probably the wind. Yeah. Self-explanatory. Water source. Water uh, source? Yeah, miss the water, miss... Uh, In what way? Yeah. Like recreationally. Okay, recreation, like just like getting... Like taking dogs to the river or to a creek or to... Yeah, there's a not lake. a lot of good water here. Yeah, I mean, Buff Buffalo Springs is... Uh, a little inconvenient and it's it's super crowded. What makes you stay here then if you hate it so much? Oh, I don't hate it. It's, it's the <laughs> Just culture. Kidding. It's the culture. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, great people, great community. Uh, everybody supports one another. Uh, very entrepreneurial, so uh, there's a lot of opportunity. What makes you stay in Lubbock? People. I have a good job. So They're nice. I complain about it. So why should someone move to Lubbock? I guess it would depend on the circumstances. I just have to say it's very affordable. I mean, the houses are very affordable, reasonable. I think it's a great place just to raise a family, kind of start a business out here. Yeah. I mean, it is the place to do it. Yeah, you think business oriented, it's cheap. Yeah. yeah. Real estate's cheap. Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty cheap, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. It's a big city, but it you can get anywhere in Lubbock in 10 minutes. 10 or right. 10 minutes. Yeah. I mean, it's it, everything is kind of close, and the freeway system is good. It's true. This is the truth. How'd y'all find out about it and move here from Tennessee? Texas Tech. Texas Tech? Mm -hmm. Research and development. We moved here for, for my job. Do you, for, you for work there, Missy? Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. What advice would you give to someone, let's say, who's moving here from California, New York, Washington State? What would you say to someone like that if they were moving here? What advice would you give them? I don't think I'd give them advice. I'd just say congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an open mind. Try to get out and meet people because that's the best way to stay here. Yeah. The people you so you think the people here are definitely top tier? It's That's a great environment. Very great community environment. oriented. The traffic isn't horrible. I just drove in from Dallas Fort Worth area today and it was. I've been there. Day where you're at, man. <laughs> Why do you think that? You know, those are much different cultures and. I think if they want to come down here, bring their culture with them, then stay where you're at. If you want to blend into ours, then then come on and give it a shot. So if they want to bring their, like our culture, if they're, you know, more conservative, care about conservative values, all that stuff, want to come to Lubbock, you'd, you'd be okay with that? Yeah, I think so. If they want to come in and uh, if they're seeking that, that sort of environment, then come on. But um, if they're coming in to, to disrupt it and bring uh, their politics and stuff. Yeah, not to get that way, not to go take a left turn there. But uh, yeah, if they're, if they're coming to be a disruptor, then, then stay where you're at. I think there was an environmental shock, right? Because uh, things here are drier and windier than they were in East Tennessee. Right, absolutely. Hold sure. On to your hats. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, sure. So I think that was the biggest adjustment for me initially coming here. But someone who wants to come here, raise a family, get a good job. I think it's a great environment. Yeah. I really do. And and 
Lubbock, I, I understand too that the city is acquiring more and more of the county too because of the growth that it's wanting yeah, wanting absolutely. to have. I, I think that in its in and of itself shows that the, that people do want to move here and that there is growth. So I, I like that aspect of it. Awesome. So someone who's thinking like you guys. This is a big move. I'm moving from across the country. How do you make that step? What advice would you give someone who's moving here from across the country? Hire professional movers. Don't try to do it yourself. Yeah, don't don't do don't make the same mistakes and think we could just do it all on the cheap. Yeah. yeah. Spend some extra money. But you would definitely recommend Lubbock to people. Definitely. Absolutely. Hands down. And Absolutely. there's not much you hate about it. I, like I said, I, I shared with you my nitpicks, and I don't, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I don't like about this place. The people are friendly, they're open, uh, they're warm, and uh, for only living here a few years, I feel like I've lived here my whole life because it, it just feels like it feels like home. Yeah, it really does. That's so awesome. As always, thank you so much for watching. My number is right here. If you have any questions, want to move here, do whatever you want. Call me. I'll help you out. Call me. It'll be me. You're calling. Let's do it, boys. Toodles.